Hello and welcome to 3D Print Passion. Today I like to talk about lithophanes and we not only do lithophanes about black and white or grey, we also talk about how to do lithophanes in color. And that this is not so heavy to do, you will see in this video. At first we need to clarify what do you need to print lithophanes. The first thing is your extruder need to be perfectly calibrated. That's the key factor to print lithophanes. The next thing you need is white PLA. White filament because uh, it lets much better the light behind through that printed object which gives a much better quality of this picture. And no transparent filament is not working very well, so you should really use white filament. Also other colors are not very recommendable. It's possible to buy filament which is recommended to use it as a kind of a lithophane filament. I used a standard white PLA which is not a high reflecting or saint filament, it's more a matte filament. You also need a kind of a light to illuminate your lithophanes. I'm using a battery LED spot which has the form of a puck. I glued on that spot a little piece of transparent paper to don't have a high spot on one point and to make the light a little bit more softener to have a nicer illumination of the lithophane. So the big difference between a transparent paper I used and a normal paper which uh, is used to make normal printouts, it's very good to see here because you see that it's much more softened and the illumination is much more better. Instead you're using the LED spot behind a normal copy paper for example. This also will make a difference later on the printouts but we will talk about it in a few minutes. Let's switch first to lithophane tool and I show you what settings you can use, how to configure it and how to make a picture into a lithophane and maybe what you need to take care of to have a nice lithophane afterwise. The link of that web page you will see in the comment box of this video. I will do an upload of a picture and you have here the possibility to change the brightness, the contrast, the red, green and blue intensities. So you have a lot of possibilities to um, modify your image on that point uh, to have a better printout and a better uh, intensity of the colors and so on uh, for your lithophane later. You're also able to change the blur effect a little bit now we go to the model tab uh, and here we have the possibility to modify our model um, as much as you like it. You can switch the frame options and I choose the border option because that's what I most prefer. You have the possibility to change the form of that little pane. For example, you can switch between sphere and arc. This will result in having an arc of your little fane and in my opinion this is something which looks really nice if it stands somewhere and it's not flat like a normal picture. A very nice function is that you can already enable here a lamp function um, that's really beautiful and I'm using as a lamp function the puck function. In plus I will increase the distance a little bit to the object to have a better illumination and to don't have a spot on only a single point of that lithophane. Also the connectors, I decrease that one from 4 to 2 because two connectors are much more than enough. It will be printed a little bit faster of course and I don't need so many plastic. Also I'm changing the angel here on that point to have a nicer illumination on my little fane. Um, I switch it from the standard function uh, which is set here 
to a degree of 80. This will give me a much more better illumination like I already said. Of course it's depending to the size of the picture. Yeah, that's it. As next we download our lithophane. Um, you will need the lithophane plus attributes and you need the color lithophane. That's it. Now we will import the STL file to Cure and I created a own profile for lithophanes in my Cure settings. The settings of Cure which are needed to do, I will show you as next. The most necessary point is the infill. You need to make sure that your infill is at 100%. You should not use less than 100% because if so, the lithophane will not be printed very well. Also interesting is don't print too fast. We print thin walls with a, a thin object. I don't know if the 25 is a good value, uh, but it works for me very well. Of course, it took a time. Um, but anyway, I'm a guy which prints not too fast. Uh, support is not needed for lithophanes, but you should take care about that you have your fan speed very high. The layer high you should at least print with a layer high of 0.2 millimeters for much better resolution. You should use 0.1 until 0.16 millimeters. This is how it looked uh, lithophane inside Cure. It's not much to see here at the moment. I will slice that um, lithophane now and then I will print it. If the lithophane is already printed, you can directly do your first test and illuminate your lithophane. I show you some pictures of my lithophane I have printed. To have now the lithophane not only in grayscaling, but also in a color illumination, we need to switch now to GIMP. What we need first before we start scaling, we need our correct sizes. In my tests, I have seen that I only need the high, as long as I did not change the size ratios. So what we now do is we remember the size of 76.2 millimeters switch to GIMP where I have imported the picture. Then we go to picture, picture scaling and switch to millimeters. And on the high, I type in 76.2 millimeters. That little lock should be closed to make sure the picture will be scaled in normal ratios. I show you now the difference between a normal copy paper and to my transparent paper. And you see the light behind the paper is much more better to see. It's much more transparent. And this gives you more opportunities to illuminate your lithophane better than in using a normal copy paper. And now I will make it here a little bit dark and we will have a look how we can make a standard lithophane to a color lithophane. We will see here now our gray scaled lion. And now I will place that printout paper behind that lithophane. And this is like it looks now. Beautiful. Of course, you should glue the paper behind that lithophane if it's placed correctly, because nobody likes to keep the fingers there forever, of course. <laughs> so I think a lithophane is a very, very beautiful thing. It's beautiful as a present, for example, for Christmas. I think about the kids and the grandmother, grandpa and things like that. It's also a very nice decoration in the living room or somewhere else or a kind of a souvenir. I think you may have much more ideas than I have now. Let me know your ideas in the comment to give me also a little inspiration. If you like to support that little channel a little bit, then thanks to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you are interested to see more videos from me, thanks to give me a subscribe and hit the bell to don't miss any new videos. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you next time. Happy printing. Bye.